Hi guys, Wandersun here. Bringing you a quick tutorial on how to use Batch Render Creator in the version 2.0.1 and also with some tips to avoid mistakes. The first time we run Batch Render Creator we need to choose which render we will use. To do this, just click on the plus button at the top of the application and go to Blender's installation folder, then choose the executable called Blender.exe. You can add many versions of Blender in the Batch Render Creator. After that we just add the Blender projects into the Batch Render Creator, but first I'll open these two projects that we'll use as an example in this tutorial. See that in the first project we only have a sphere and a camera. I'm going to close this project and open the second one, which is a little more complete. Opening the second project called Project 2, I will show its resources and objects. Within this project we have Suzanne here and also three cameras in different positions. Inside Batch Render Creator, we will create three renders using this same project where each one will render a camera. But whenever you install a new version of Blender you need to configure in system which hardware will use to render your projects, and for Blender to save this configuration you need to close the application before starting the renders with the Batch Render Creator, this because the settings will only be saved after closing Blender. You can add Blender projects to Batch Render Creator just by clicking and dragging into the application, or by clicking on the button above called Add Blender Projects. If you add many projects, Batch Render Creator has the function to search which project you want to render, as well as the option to search the added renders. Now the next step is to add a render to our project, see that when we click on the add render button it will load the information of our project as shown in the video when we click on the add render button an alert message is displayed this is because our project does not have an output folder configured so let's click on the edit before button to choose an output folder for our renders i'll add the render one folder on the desktop Call this output file render1 and also say that we will only render frame 1 of our project. Once that's done, just click on the add and close button to add a project to render now. Now in project 2, click on the add render button where in this project we will create three renders for this same project, each one with a different camera. See that all the project information has been loaded, then select camera1. After that choose the output folder, which in this case will be the render2 folder on the desktop. Let's call this output file camera1, then just choose frame1 to be rendered. In this case, instead of clicking on the add and close button, click on the add and new button to create another render of the same project. Now we can add our second render, if we drag the window to the side we can see the render has been successfully added in the background. Change to camera 2 and also rename the file name to camera 2 and after that click add and close so I can show you another way to add the last render. By clicking with the mouse on the right button you can see several options like the first one that will open the edit box of our selected render. We also have the option to open the output folder of our renders, it serves as a shortcut to access the output folder and an option to delete the selected render, but let's choose the duplicate render option. With this option we can duplicate the render we did previously. I renamed the file folder name to camera3 and finally changed the camera to camera3. See that if we have many renders we can also do research as well as projects, making Batch Render Creator a good option for small and medium studios that have many projects that need to be rendered. The Batch Render Creator with Windows Notifications feature that will display a message in the lower right corner of the main monitor a message whenever a render is completed, it also has the sound alert that will emit a beep when all renders are completed. It also has an option to shut down, suspend or restart the computer after finishing all renderings, very useful to shut down the computer after renderings that will finish during the night. With all the renders configured I'll save this project with the name my renders, 
to speed up the process in case I need future changes. Now we have all the steps completed so we can start our renders, see above we have information about how many projects we have, how many renders will be rendered and also how many frames. See that we can also resize between the projects and renders window. By clicking on star render we will be able to see in real time the entire process and the renders being created inside the folders we chose earlier. An audible alert will sound after finishing all renderings as we enabled this feature previously. See that all four renders were rendered successfully. I'm going to delete these four renders because now I'm going to show how to make an edit in this project to render several frames of project 1. In render 1 I'll tell the batch render creator to render from frame 1 to 5, after that I'll disable renders 2 and 3, and in render 5 I'll tell it to also render from frame 1 to 2 as shown in the video and after that click and start render again. Let's wait for the renderings. See that all renders were rendered correctly, and inside the batch render creator we can see the total rendering time and all frames that were rendered. I'm going to click save and close the batch render creator. After that I'll open the project we created which contains all our renders where it is loaded with all the data we created before and we can reopen and render whenever necessary. If batch render creator is used for you or your company, please help us to continue to support this project with some amount. This project is over 1.5 years of development and is maintained with the help and contribution of the community only. The final version will be available for free on December 31, 2021. If you can't help with any amount, use the Beta 9 version which is very similar to the final version and contains all the features. Set the value to zero and click on Purchase again if you have previously downloaded it. If you want to contribute some amount starting at $5 you can download the new version. If you want to contribute with a higher amount, just type in the field below the amount you want to contribute and click on the Purchase button where you will be redirected to a new Gumroto page for payment information, after which you will be redirected to the download page. We finish this tutorial here, please don't forget to evaluate this project, this is very important to keep always updating the project, and if you find any problem you can report it in the email in the batch render creator in the settings tab. Thanks to everyone who has watched this video so far, and please share this software with your friends and co-workers. See you in the next video.